Hey there my friend, I'm Abby from Abby Kirsten Collections. In this tutorial, we're talking all about making stickers with your Cricut machine, specifically the Cricut Joy Extra. I'm gonna be featuring the waterproof sticker paper and also covering some key things like kiss cut versus die cut stickers and lots more. So in this tutorial, we are featuring the printable waterproof sticker set by Cricut. So this is unique in the fact that not only is this a sticker paper, but it comes with these special laminating sheets that go on the top of it so that it protects it from water and your colors are going to last a lot longer with your stickers and it's going to have a much longer shelf life. So we're going to walk through how to use this and I'm going to be printing some stickers off uh, from Cricut Design Space and we'll be using our Cricut Joy Extra machine for this. The supplies you're going to need aside from this printable sticker paper set is just a mat your Cricut machine, and then you may want to have a brayer tool on hand. Of course, you will also need an inkjet printer as well to print the designs off from. All right, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and we're going to be making the waterproof printable stickers. So for this tutorial, I am going to be using uh, just some Cricut Access images here. You can also check out the free ones that they offer if you're not currently a subscriber to it. So I have some cute mermaid images here I'm going to put onto a water bottle for my daughter. I also have some doggy images. Uh, our family has a Frenchie and a Golden Retriever. So if you're not familiar with where to search images in Design Space, you can just come over here to the design panel on the left hand side and click on images and then you can search by keywords or you can browse through the highlighted categories. So maybe you're looking for something a little different. Maybe you're looking for dinosaurs. Maybe you have a son or grandson and he likes dinosaurs and you want to make some dinosaur stickers. We could type that in and then we could see all of the images that pop up that are available. Uh, you can use any of these images as a print and cut if you use the flatten tool, which turns a layered SVG into a print and cut. Um, but you can also filter over here by operation type and toggle on print and cut and you'll see the ones that are already set up for that. So this guy here is pretty cool. So maybe I would select him and I would add to canvas. Okay, so here is this cool colorful dinosaur who's on a skateboard here. The only thing you really need to think about when you're doing stickers is first your scale. So if we look over here in the layers panel, we see this little exclamation point. And if we click on it, it's telling us this image is currently too large. So we have detected that the max size for this shape is 7.43 inches by 7.64 inches. So design space is really helpful where you can have this just auto resize for you to the maximum size it can make it. So I'm just going to click that and see what it adjusts to. It was barely anything. It just needed to go down a hair. Uh, this is still a pretty darn big sticker. Most stickers are not over seven inches. So I'm actually just going to scale this to my preferred size. You can do this by coming to any one of the corners here and just hover over it, click, hold and drag to scale smaller or larger. Your size and width are also reflected up here at the top. If you wish to type in an exact dimension, you can do that as well. So I'm going to take this down to around three and a half or so, because that's still a pretty good size sticker. All right, so that's the only first thing you need to think about is your scaling. Second thing, and this is optional, is you may want to consider adding an offset. Now for an image like this dinosaur here or this mermaid, that's not a big deal. We really don't technically need an offset. But if you're trying to combine images or you're trying to maybe add text that you've typed out and create like an overall um, customized look to your sticker. So this was an image I brought in and then this is um, a different design I brought in as well. And they're completely separate from each other. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do here is if I'm combining images like this, especially if you're working with text where you don't want Cricut to start cutting out the D, the R, the O, etc. separately. You want it to be one nice seamless sticker silhouette when it's done. You want to consider adding an offset in this case. So with like the case of our dinosaur here, this one's probably fine as it is. But because we have things that we're combining here with these two images, an offset is going to make our lives a hundred times easier and the result much better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over the images I wish to create as a sticker. So for me, it's the puppy dog and the words. These are basic cut right now, meaning it would be a layered SVG. We would cut it out in vinyl or paper, etc. We want to turn this into a printing cut, meaning it goes through our inkjet printer and then Cricut cuts around it. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the offset feature here. It's kind of in the middle top area. I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me a preview. Now 0.25 is a little thick for my taste, so I'm going to take it down to 0.15 and then let it update and you'll see the result there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply if I'm happy with the thickness of my offset. That's how simple it is to create an offset. Now it does at this time create it as a black offset so we can clearly see it. Uh, so you'll see the offset result over here in your layers panel. So here's my offset. It's currently selected. Let's go up to next to the operations menu at the top. There is a color swatch. If you click on that, you can change it to white. Okay, so there is our result. And I'm also going to change the canvas here to gray because I want to make sure you can see contrast when I actually change this to a print and cut. So we're going to do that for now. Okay, so one other thing, and this is completely dependent upon your image, but I like to eliminate unnecessary cuts and contours when I'm dealing with offsets. If I pull this offset off to the side here, do you see all those really weird cutouts happening there? I don't want those in any way to affect the final design. So before I turn this into a printing cut, I want to click on the contour feature at the bottom of the layers panel. And I'm just going to click on hide all contours. And when I do that, it's going to leave just the silhouette there, which is what I want. Okay, so much cleaner looking. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this back. I'm just manually placing it, but you're welcome to use like your align and distribute tools. Um, for me, I can clearly see that I'm happy with that. It's pretty easy to align. All right, so the last step here is we need to select all those layers. We've got our puppy, we've got the words, and we got the offset we created. All of these right now are still in basic cut operation, but we need them to be print and cut. So with all of that selected, go down to the bottom of your layers panel and click on the flatten tool. The flatten tool is going to turn this from a layered SVG cut file into a flattened print and cut result. So I'm going to click on that, give Design Space a second to update, and now we see our print and cut result over here in the layers panel, and we have this one finalized design. You can then go ahead and you know fine tune your scaling at this point. So a five and a half inch high sticker is a little big. I think I'm going to take that down to under four inches. We'll do about right there, like that. And this sticker is ready to go. Okay, so I have a bunch of stickers ready to go here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Make It. And I'm going to preview what the layout of these stickers is going to be. Okay, so one thing Cricut's going to do is it's going to decide what it thinks is best as far as the placement of these. And there's technically nothing wrong with how they did it, but let's say I want all the mermaid ones to be on one sheet, all the puppy ones to be on another sheet, or I just want to try and maximize this extra space that we're seeing here. So what you can do is go back to the canvas and you can grab a square from the shapes panel and I'm going to unlock the little lock icon there at the top and I'm just going to change this to an eight and a half by 11, which is the um, most common size for like sticker paper and stuff like that. So I'm going to change the square to that size. I'm going to temporarily change it to print and cut. And then we're going to get that exclamation point over here and it's going to tell us that we either need to change our page size to like um, A4 or if we're using a full size Cricut um, and not the extra, there are even more page sizes or we need to auto resize the image. So I'm going to click on auto resize. So I know this is the max surface area for my stickers and then I'm going to change the operation to guide. And this is just going to give us a frame of reference for us to sort of position our stickers within. So I'm going to send this guide to the back and then I'm just going to start pulling these little guys over here. Okay, so now I know all my doggy stickers there are together and they're within that uh, size limitation. I'm going to click and drag over the doggy images and use my attach tool at the bottom of the layers panel and that's just going to hold the placement of them so that it doesn't get scrambled when we go to the cut screen. Um, our space here for our mer mermaid one is pretty well maximized as well as our puppy one. We could potentially squeeze in maybe some tiny little items around it, but I'm overall happy with that. So let's go ahead and print these out. I'm going to hit continue and then we need to send it to our printer. So I'm going to click on send to printer and I am going to use my system dialog box because I want to be able to set the quality of the print and you do want to leave the add bleed on. I'm going to go ahead and click on print. 
and then you're going to get um, your printer dialog box. Everybody's dialog box is going to look different. This is what mine looks like. But for me, I'm changing that I want the quality to be best and I want it to feed from my rear tray. And then I'm going to go ahead and print. Okay, so I'm back in design space here. I need to select the material. So I am using the waterproof sticker set, but they also have you know clear sticker paper, white sticker paper, they have gold and silver vinyl sticker paper, holographic. So check out all the different options. You're gonna wanna click browse all materials. And then I'm just gonna type in the word waterproof. And water printable waterproof sticker set white, that's the one I'm using. So I'm gonna click on that one. And I'm going to click done and then we can go ahead and load our Cricut Joy extra machine up. Okay, so I have several sheets printed out here ready to go. Now, before you actually go to load them onto your cutting machine, you need to apply the vinyl laminate. This is what's going to make them more water resistant and make them last longer. So don't neglect this step. This is a key component of the waterproof sticker set. There are six sets per package okay in case you're wondering so you want to grab one of these per sheet here and right along the top here there's a strip that you can peel off just like that okay so that reveals some of the laminate and then you're going to flip it over and you're going to line the top edge up now one trick to make this easier for yourself is to take your cutting mat and go ahead and place your sticker sheet down first line it up there at the top edge okay and then once you've done that and you got it on the mat that's going to offer some more stability for you to place down the laminate sheet so peel off that tip flip it over and just focus on getting that top part aligned i experimented with applying the laminate two ways first is to get that top edge lined up and then to let the laminate fall into place. Remove the liner and let the laminate fall into place. While this did work, I noticed that there was a lot more room for error and air bubbles. The second and better way is to apply that laminate top and then to remove the liner slowly, pressing the laminate sheet down to your sticker sheet little by little as you remove the liner. So I found that turning it so it's facing away from you and you can kind of handle it so that you're pressing with one hand while peeling away with the other, also made the process a little bit easier. And then I like to use something like a brayer tool to press all those air bubbles out. And now we're ready to go ahead and load this into our Cricut machine. So I'm using the Joy Extra here. I have the material printable waterproof sticker set white selected because they do make them in a clear and a holographic. So just make sure you have the correct, um, the correct material selected in Design Space. At this point, your Cricut is scanning these registration marks here. So it's gonna take about 30 seconds to a minute to scan all the sides and measure the mat, and then it'll proceed with cutting the design out. All right, so our cut is done. I'm gonna flip my mat over here. I'm gonna peel the mat away from the material. And now we can come in here and we can pick any of these stickers up and peel it away from the liner. And now we have our beautiful waterproof sticker. So this one here, this one's gonna go on one of my water bottles. So this is what's called a kiss cut sticker where it is on the carrier sheet and you're peeling it up when you're ready to use and place it onto whatever you wish to place it onto. In contrast, if you wish to make what's called a die cut sticker, which cuts all the way through both the sticker layer and the liner backing, creating a sticker result that has been cut around the outer contour of the sticker image itself, then I'm gonna show you what I've done in Design Space to create my own setting to make this happen for these waterproof sticker sets, as well as many other sticker materials that you can apply this concept to. So I wanted to take a quick detour here just to note that if you want to have a die cut sticker as opposed to a kissed cut sticker, 
liner. Kiss cut meaning you're peeling it off the liner. Die cut meaning the liner is intact, but the sticker are separate from one another. You're going to need to set up a special setting. So I just want to show you how to make your own settings in Design Space as a little bonus trick for you. So what I like to do is click on Browse All Materials and then go down to Material Settings. It's right at the bottom. And then you need to find the material setting. So printable, printable waterproof sticker paper white. Okay. So I'm going to click on edit here because I want to see what the pressure is. So they've set the pressure to 190 using the five fine point blade. Okay. So I'm going to hit cancel and then I'm going to come all the way down here and I'm going to click add new material. And I'm going to call this one printable water proof stickers white uh, 1.2 I'm just gonna name it 1.2 I'm gonna click Save and I'm gonna set the pressure to exactly the same thing as the other one which is 190 okay but instead of one pass we're going to do two passes and this is gonna have the blade go over the cut line twice so that it's going to cut through that carrier sheet underneath it and then our stickers will be individual. Um, you may need to do some testing with this. Sometimes you know things can be inaccurate especially if you happen to be using a different sticker paper um, underneath and then you're doing your own laminating sheet. I can't speak to all of that but I'm gonna try two times and we're gonna see how that comes out. So I'm gonna click Save and now we can go ahead and exit out of this and I'll hit browse all materials and then we'll find the setting we just created, okay? Which is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bookmark that. We'll hit done, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and load our uh, Cricut Joy Extra. And it worked great. I was able to cut out my waterproof sticker set just by using the exact same setting that Cricut already provides for me, but instead of doing one pass with the blade, it did two passes and I was able to accomplish that die cut sticker result that I was looking for. What questions do you have for me about making stickers with your Cricut machine? I'm super excited that I have the Cricut Joy Extra to be able to make a wide range of stickers in different sizes with different sticker papers such as the gold uh, vinyl sticker paper, they have silver, holographic, waterproof, and many others as well. So make sure you go check them out. There is full resources linked below for you on the blog at abbykirstencollections.com and I will see you there. Bye for now.